Yes! Don't do it! Don't push your luck for Tenson. Don't. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. We have a glorious morning, yes indeed, and the morning has already been profitable. I've sold a lot of the items that I acquired last night to the fence in the Winking Skeever, so my purse is quite a bit heavier. I did of course keep the Ring of Looting, although there is one small cloud on an otherwise clear sky. For some odd reason... I can't put the Ring of Looting on my left hand. It just doesn't like my left hand. And so I'd have to choose between the Ring of the Grey and the Ring of Looting. It's unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. I still love it. Yes, I do. I gave you the sweet rolls. Didn't I give you the sweet rolls? I'm pretty sure I gave you the sweet rolls. Uh-huh. Just, just, just... I want to check. Look at all those lockpicks. I am jealous. You want some more lockpicks? I, I can do that. You, yeah, you've got seven sweet rolls. You've only got ten lock... You want some more lockpicks? I've probably got a gazillion of them. Okay, I've got 91 of them. It's not quite a gazillion, but there's a few. Here, have some lockpicks. I'll probably not use that many. There you go. Are you feeling a little more... Okay, then. ...lockpicky? So, now... We have a few things to do. We have to report back to the Brotherhood regarding the successful contract, but the man did say there was no rush, and I do have a few things I want to do beforehand. Specifically, I want to go back to Riften, hand in these uh, jobs, and more importantly, get the smith there to improve this cutlass. I, I, I attempted to do that last time, if you remember, and failed abysmally. I want to use the guy in Riften because I know he can do pretty good work. I, I've not used the guy in Solitude, and I don't know when I'll... What the hell is that? What the... Actual hell is that? My god, how far away is that? That is... That is a giant light sticking up from... Please don't push me. Oh... Okay then. Statue to Meridia. Oh, is that right? I've got a beacon and was commanded to return it to there. So, I absolutely should just turn around and carry on with what I was bloody well doing. Yes, indeed. Off to Riften. Get the cutlass improved and uh, submit those jobs. Then we will go to the sanctuary. It is very shiny, though, isn't it? It's, it's so very shiny. Okay, Mr. Curiosity is, uh, is, is making some noises, but they're not loud enough. Okay. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? So this time I absolutely need to make sure I... Right, here we go. Okay, we can make it epic. We can make it epic, which will increase the damage to 29. It's still not... It's still not as good as the... It's just... It's not quite as good. Oh! And we've got Moonstone and Quicksilver, or you have it. I don't know 
which it is. Wait. How much is this going to cost me? That's that's the million dollar question. Is it, I've never quite figured that one out. Is it the value here? Probably. You know what? Don't care. I want it. Should you improve this item? Yes, you should. I will return. I will just absolutely make sure that it has, in fact, gone. Right, yeah, I've got my silver short sword back from... Uh, from Indigo, and I still have my Nightingale Blade, which is still always going to be slightly better. Yes, it is. But... That Cutlass is just so damn nice. It really is. It's just so very mean. There really is no fog. Well, there's some down there, but you know. Stamina regenerates 46% faster. 200 weapons do 37% more damage. Illusion spells are 37% stronger. Resists fire damage 28%. My god, that's one of the most bizarrely all over the place potions I could possibly imagine. I mean, maybe if you were a warrior who liked to wield a two-handed weapon whilst throwing illusions and you're expecting to get shot with a fireball. I actually have ten fire salts for this blacksmith. I don't know if it improves his forge and means he can actually come to see Balaman perform miracles make with steel, better eh? stuff for me. However, let's Amazing. These must have been very hard to come by. Not you hard, saved exactly. my business and warmed an old smith's heart. For that, I thank you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. It's a bit of money and out of curiosity. Oh, I can't. I've already got an order with you, so I can't check to see if your smithing skill has gone up. Who was? Oh, that was Maven warning somebody else. That's the important thing. She was warning. Somebody else is night falling. I have a feeling. You know what? Rather than traipse around, maybe we should. Oh god! You know what? I can't be bothered sleeping in the thieves' guild. It's it's really noisy, and it's and for all the fact that they've given me some sheets and put up a partition, it's not very private. We can we can get a night's sleep. In... Coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Although I totally forgot how. Horribly dingy it was in here. At least I get a door and some privacy. Oh, it's you again. When I am alone traveling the land, I often talk and sing to myself. I am good company. This is true. <laughs> My time as a bandit taught me very little. It was a means to an end. Sick people attract their own kind. Okay. So you, you, you consider yourself sick back then because of the drugs, right? My heart swells at the sight of natural beauty. Um, okay, that seems reasonable. Fire away. Well, just... I'm being nosy. I'm, I'm letting my breakfast settle and I'm just allowing you to just chat at me, basically. I grew up in a river hold and not far from Cyrodiil. My brother and I headed for the Imperial City to find our fortune when we came of age. I found love, for a time at the least. My brother found death. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm... Yeah, he just died spontaneously, or did he get killed? I will come to that soon. There is a little more to hear first. Okay, then tell me about love. Well, now that I think about it, maybe it was not love. It was brief and, as it turned out, one-sided. Anyway, all that happened later. Uh... Okay. Is it just me, or does it always seem to be raining when we come down here? It's probably just me. I think this is the second time it's been raining. It is... funny. How when something like that happens, you tend to exaggerate it in your own mind. I'm sure I've ridden up here a few times and it's been sunny. 
but I only now think of are the rainy times. I have to say, I'm still monumentally disappointed by this. I mean, I get it. It's a secret entrance. It's all very, you know, secret society cool. But it should lead into something far more impressive. And, and actually, I believe this door should actually be in a sewer in solitude or something. And, you, and you've got to get to the deepest part of the sewer. And then you go into the door and it leads up. But in actual fact, it leads into a building that's in solitude that can see out but no one can get into. Something cool. Not a dingy, bloody cave. Oh, I don't have to answer the question now. It's like, recognize me. I'm good. Okay. It's still pretty dark and bloody dingy. Where's Astri? The Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. What is going on? Mr. Cicero, I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are, sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood? Keeper? Husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Um. But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, uh, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. B can we talk about the muttering fool first? Okay, I'm trying to listen to what he's saying. I'm actually trying to catch what he's saying. Why do we have a lunatic? I, I, I get it, he's the keeper. I read about this, but, um... Yeah, okay, fine. No, do you have a contract for me? I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. No problem whatsoever. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Okay, this this sounds a little this more head playing tricks. Oh. oh yes, mistress. You boss. For now. Okay, dude. I, I don't know if you know this, but you're muttering out loud. You really are very small. Oh, another member of the family. Hello, hello. So very good to meet you. Didn't I see you on the road to White Run? I think I did. Yeah, uh... Oh, another member of the family! Okay. Hello, hello! So very good to meet you. Eh, uh, good to meet you too, Cicero? So polite, so nice. Cicero likes you. The Night Mother is sure to like you too. Oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. The, the, the Night Mother... Are we talking about the corpse? And is it in that box? And is there any way I can edge to the left a little without looking like I've lost my cool? 
Him? Why are you here? Are you in a... Well, you're the keeper of the box. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was desecrated. Yeah, I read about Imperial that. Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. That? Such was my honor. May not be true. As keeper. I, I found another door. I found another door uh, on the northern coast. Who is the Night Mother? I mean, I sort of already know, but... Oh, what? Who is the Night Mother? I'm new here. Oh, oh, oh you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Okay, that's me. You, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Okay. Tell me about Sithis. I know a little, but I'd like to hear your uh, version. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space. Or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the Void. Is he also, like, sensitive to loud noises? Why are we whispering? Uh, what are the duties of the Keeper, apart from being a total lunatic? Oh, Cicero takes care of our lady's body. Oils it, preserves it, keeps it oh. safe. Okay. Make sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Yeah. Little creepy. Little creepy. And when I say little, I mean a lot. Uh, tell me about yourself. Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see. The night mother. I keep her clean and protected and... <laughs> happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her. Say... The word. <laughs> okay, what, what, what was what was with the dramatic pause? Say, the are there some special words? What is the listener? I kind of know this though. I read about it. Oh well, the listener is the only person the night mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Of course, our lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our lady has not chosen Cicero, and certainly not Astrid, or anyone. But someday... Right, okay. Cicero? Bids you farewell. Um, thank you, Cicero. Oh, okay. So oh, I do wish to get to know you better, but I must tend to mother. Maybe we can talk for just a moment. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm good. So we've uh, we've we've upgraded from a den of misfits and freaks to um, a den of utter madmen and jesters. Yay! Brother, I do not need training in light armor. Any advice on the current contract? What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? Yeah. Ooh. I don't like mimes, minstrels, 
Thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Okay, well, I don't share your distaste of performance artists, except perhaps jesters and mimes. Um, but, uh, yeah. So far, you're the only person in this place who strike... That's not true. There, were, there are a few others. You know, you are one of the people who seem, um... Well, I, I, I don't know how best to describe it. Material I can work with. Narfi is dead. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. I may have to reevaluate my material I can work with prognosis. Six and accepted. I mean, seriously, you're the one that told me to, to kill this emaciated beggar. Who the hell? was willing to pay 600 septims for his death. There are people out there offering me like 100 and 200 to go off and kill a bandit leader. 600 for that guy. And Enodius Papius, that's the guy at a campsite in the middle of a river. He's dead. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Again with the sass. Again. 600 still? Where, where's my payment? 600. All right. I wasn't even in the mill. There was no splinters. I did get my boots a little wet. That's about it. Would you like to crack a joke about that? Beethild is dead. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Yeah. Um, okay, so no, no, no insult with that one. All right, well, that's fair. Do you have any more contracts? Do you have any advice on my current contract? That's the one in Markov. The contracts I dole out are fairly simple. Oh, you. Go to a location and kill the target. But this is different. The jobs Astrid gives you will be more important, and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And for Sith's sake, don't get killed. High on my list of things to ensure. Do you happen to have any more contracts? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. All right then, so we're done. Can't say I'm massively disappointed. However, I am thinking perhaps I should Talk to the people around here and see. Gabriella! Need something? Um, any advice on my current contract? You're being sent to meet with a contact directly, is that correct? Yes. The most unusual occurrence. Astrid usually performs this duty herself. I can only assume she wants to test the full breadth of your abilities. So be polite and professional and represent us well. Well, it depends on what you mean by represent us well. I, I find you quite pleasant, so uh, I suspect my idea of representing us well would meet your approval. I'm not totally sure that is uh, shared by our other brethren, who seem a little more um, volatile in their approach to things, shall we say? What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. Okay, so you're, um, loyal. You like, you like the, uh, the hierarchy, but you, uh, you have a sense of decorum. You're polite, and I quite like you. Stay safe. Thank you very much. Right, um, not really made my mind about you. Making... A rule to be as respectful as possible to vampires. Don't let my appearance throw you off. 
I'm older than you. A lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. You're referring to that blacksmith contract? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was just listening to the other conversation. Because uh, you were already telling me something I already knew. Uh, any advice on my current contract? You're headed to the Hag's Cure, right? Yep. It's a good shop. You should examine their wares. Never pass up the chance to buy a good potion. Or poison. And one more thing. I Have like you. fun. You'll be committing a dark deed, but there's no reason you shouldn't enjoy yourself. You're only young once. Trust me, I know. Ordinarily, I'm not that fond of children, but um, I, I like the way you think. I appreciate you're also not really a child, which is probably why I like the way you think. Um, but yeah, I've actually been there before. I, I do like that shop. Um, I frequent it. I rarely buy anything, though. Uh, what are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? 200 years ago, I would have laid down my life for the unholy matron. But that age is long since past. Astrid is my matron now. Ah, okay, so you're, you're, I, I'm, I'm having a feeling there is Team Cicero and Team Astrid. Kill well and often. And Gabriella is definitely Team... Your latest exploit certainly has the sanctuary talking. The temple contract? Oh, well, I her. certainly it's won't deny because mine was... Crap. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we've it's got like creeping around traditionalist. Loyal to Astria. It's not really Team Cicero so much as Team Night Mother, isn't it? Okay, Festus. Talk to Babette about potions. She's the creepy little girl. Can't miss her. Yes, I quite like her. Um, I probably wouldn't want to call her creepy to her face, though. Um, any advice on my current contract? Yeah. Just because you're now a professional assassin, don't think you have to skulk around in the dark like a skeever and stab people. Do what I do. Walk up to your target, introduce yourself, melt their skin off, and then run like the wind. <laughs> Works every time. Uh, you're insane, aren't you? Yes, you are. Um, okay. Uh, no, I, I like the sneaking around, although I, I, I think I can find slightly cleaner ways of killing them uh, than stabbing, and certainly than melting their skin off. What are your, what, yeah, what are your thoughts on Sister and the Night Mother? Uh, their arrival is the best thing that's happened to the Sanctuary in years. Astrid is an effective leader, but we've been rudderless for too long. Scrounging for contracts, abandoning the tenants. The Dark Brotherhood has been reduced to a group of common cutthroats. Frankly, it's embarrassing. It is true. You know what? You're a crazy old man, but you actually make an awful lot of sense to me. You really do. Remember, fireballs. You can never go wrong. I bet I could. Trust me, if I tried to shoot a fireball, I'd set fire to my own feet, probably. I've never really tried. Maybe I'll try one day. Sorry. Poison. You see, you make a lot of sense, except when you're talking about good ways to, uh... You know, do contracts. You, 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 you make a lot more sense on the contract thing. But we seem to have two, two for Brother. Team Night Mother, and two for Team Astri. Where is there? He is. And me, I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. We don't have a Kajin here, do we? Scale, you see, born do under the sign of no. shadow. Okay. Vizira need something. Uh, advice. Oh, you must speak to that Moiri woman, correct? I yes. have heard rumors in Windhelm. She was recently implicated in a thievery along with her lover. The lover will likely be your target. If memory serves me correctly, he leads a group of bandits. So this may be rather interesting for you. Hmm. Okay. What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? Truthfully, I'm not entirely sure. It's not that I don't have the utmost respect for Sithis and the Night Mother and the ancient ways. I do. Of course, of course. But I've never been much for religion. I kill because it's what I've been trained to do. It's all I know. So long as Astrid is happy, I'm happy. Okay, so Team Astrid for you as well. Although you're more of a professional Until next assassin. Time, brother. I do 
I like you. Yes, I do. <sighs> Not that keen on this guy, but... Hello, Shoeless. Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Hard not to think of you as a snack. <laughs> mm, that's okay. I'm a gentleman. Hard not to think of you as a complete buffoon who forgot to put his boots on. Any advice on my current contract? Yeah, follow my wife's orders and don't do anything stupid. I never do anything stupid. I rarely do stupid things. Not deliberately, anyway. Uh, there was that one time in... Just... What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? The witless fool and his pet corpse? Take a guess. Okay. Um, Later, Hamhawk. I'm going to put you down on Team Astri then. Right, so. Out of. Where is. Oh, there she is. Can we Go. talk a little? Take care of the Muiri contract. There will be plenty more, I promise you. I, I, I do. I do. I trust you. Uh, but, um. Advice, perhaps? Just be yourself. Eliminate the targets any way you see fit. Quiet, loud, quick, slow. Whatever you feel is best. Occasionally, I'll give you a contract with certain parameters. Stay within them, and you'll earn yourself a bonus. Stay within parameters, get a bonus. I like it. Um, here is, a, here is one slightly weird thing. I, I had this urge to take everyone's skull when I killed them. Is that normal? And what should I do with them? I, I, I really would like to know. Can I just dump them? I currently have them in my backpack and I'm a little weirded out by them. Uh, what will change now that the Night Mother is here? Very little. You have my word on that. The Night Mother represents a chapter in the Dark Brotherhood's history that has long since been closed. Today we live by our own rules. We're the last sanctuary in all of Tamriel. And only by foregoing the old ways have we survived for so long. My only worry is her keeper. I'm not sure what Cicero expects to gain by bringing the Night Mother here. But he'll soon learn this is my sanctuary. <sighs> Here's the thing, I, I, I appreciate... You speak with Muiri. I've got to deal with the Night Mother and her little clown. Yeah, I, I, I do not envy you. I like Astri. She, she seems solid. But I do worry that she's picking a fight with Sithis. I am in your way. I am sorry. That is okay. Were you listening at the door? I mean, I don't... I, I wouldn't judge you if you were, but I'm pretty sure you won't be able to hear anything. Um, right, we're um, we're off to Markarth. You you remember when I first came out of there and and, and expressed my disappointment with what I found, but said that they might be useful. We might be able to mould them into something that can be used. Something. Dangerous, powerful, influential. I'm, I'm beginning to have some doubts. Sabre cat. I have a. Oh. Whoa, Artax. Good boy. I, I, I'm just going to have to get you to stay further behind if you can't control that damned horse. Let's face it, we're going to have to fight this thing. Or maybe we don't. First Sabre Cat ever that will just let us wander past? Apparently so. Okay, in we go. I have a feeling it's getting hungry. Right, it's just what was it like? A, a, is it is it a fighting ring? Oh, uh, oh! In you go, in you go! On you, on you, on you! Yes, big bad kitty! Oh. Nice one! Yes, big 
bad kitty. I have no idea what this is. Oh, good grief. Uh, horse whistle. Come on! You can follow us. I can't be bothered running all the way there. Right. Uh, feed. Oh, all right then. I guess. Will, 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 will you ride for longer without needing a bit of a sort of trot rest? If I just keep shoving carrot. Okay, that. Feeding you carrots. What is that up ahead? Uh, ah, right. This is the road to Rorikstead. There. And this is the turn off for Markarth. We're going to be going past a fort. Is that a dead horse? Or a very, very sleepy one? Okay. Let's just stay, um, on foot and, uh, see what we can see. This, unfortunately, looks like a very good place for an ambush. Yes, indeed. Where's... What are you doing? Oh! Are you trying to tell me I should search the caravan as well? Whoa. I see them now. What do you... Th oh! Okay, I wonder what the hell... It's a, it's a tail. It's not your tail, it's a tail. We got a dead Khajiit. We've got traps in the road. What do you think? Are we going to have trouble? And is it trouble we can just run past? Maybe we should have taken the carriage. I'm be We got an orc. We got a guy with silly helmet. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We've got a small bloody army here. We have got a small bloody army, mate. We have got a lot of orcs in heavy armor and what looks like forsworn. And I have a feeling they are not going to be friendly. We may want to reevaluate the path. What is that? The path we choose here. I was thinking we could, uh... Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, Merun's Razor. I'm thinking discretion is the better part of valor here. I mean, there was a lot of them. It's broad daylight. And, um, yeah, I don't want to die. That does not look like a very inviting place, does it? No. Now, thing is, there is actually something for us to do in that Silent Moon's camp over there. And it's not too far away. We've got to find a ring for the museum guy. You remember him? The guy that keeps sending us to stupid places. Well, apparently there's a camp. Is that a camp? That does not look like a camp. Does that look like a camp to you? That can't be it, can it? Oh. Okay, I'm hearing Nernroot. 
It might be. That might be a cat. Okay, that looks a little more. It's only a matter of time. Um, I don't know. Stonish? Than I would have expected for a camp. All right, let's. I'm getting out of here. That looks like a ruin. In fact, it looks like. Come on, horse, keep up. Oh, I, I kind of want the horse to be nearby just in case. That doesn't just look like a ruin. It looks like a ruined temple sort of thing. Yes, it does. I can see one person. Silent Moon's camp. Sight of that person. And then bring the horse over here. Wait, 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 wait. Are we being shot at? Are we being shot at? Oh, we're not being shot at. We're not being shot at. We're being, we're being shot, we're being shot at, we're being shot at. <sighs> oh. All right. Yes, we're being shot at. Uh, ooh, cooked beef. Knapsack, Imperial Bow, Resist Magic Cloak. No. All right, so it's a bandit. Okay, no, I was going to say, has he seen us? The answer is yes, he's seen us. Okay, okay. You know what? Can I get... Oh, right. Has he got it? Get your attention. I am invisible. Oh, right. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, we probably should not have come here. I might. I'm hoping he hasn't seen me. I'm hoping he hasn't seen me. Don't care. Danger dealt with. Yes, danger dealt with. All right. That did look like a nice cloak, you know. That might suit you. Where was the other guy? Oh. Okay, you've got... Right, so it's just bandits and not very strong ones by the looks of things. I think we can... I think we can handle this. Yes, I do. As long as we uh, are a little more careful. I sort of feel like we should wait till the night time. Uh, but I'm not going to. Okay, come here. Come here. Okay, do not take too long. I won't. Do I have a... Is it in there? It's probably in there, isn't it? It's probably in there. Let's just double check. What do I have? Right, I have no poison on. I want one that does a lot of damage very, very quickly. I've got paralysis poisons, which are always nice. But... Oh, slow! Target moves at 50% health. What's the, which one's this one? 50% speed for 71 seconds. Damages target's health by. And it weakens them. I like that. So they get slow. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. No way I'm getting up there without invisibility. So. I do not have muffle boots. I do not have muffle boots. No, I do not. Okay. Troll or bear? Can I 
Magica. It might be Magica, but you know what? No, for sure. Is he? Okay, he's not dead yet. No, he's not. Right, so. And for you, a. I think the same one. Okay, he's paralyzed and. They're not dead, they're not dead, they're not bloody dead. Oh my god, oh my god, kill him all. Oh. Oh okay. That wasn't too bad. Ruby, d ooh, that. That was nice. Spell tome, calm. Creatures and people up to level nine won't fight. That would be very nice of them. Probably wouldn't work on these guys, would it? That, that would be that would be nice, wouldn't it? If I could just look at someone and say, you know, this is not the thief you are looking for. That would actually be useful. And you? Lockpick. What do we have here? Notes on the Lunar Forge. The Forge. I've managed to set the Forge up itself and running, but again, I find nothing special about its workings. These weapons were clearly forged here, yet the secret of their enchantment remains elusive. All I've been able to discern so far is some connection between the weapon's power and the appearance of the moons. Lunar Steel War Axe. Interesting. Amulet of Sanguine Martial Craft. Sounds interesting. Light Forging. Already read that. Yes. Okay. Please have... It wasn't that, was it? It wasn't. No. Shield of Fortune. Necklace of Bloodsport. Absorbs stamina based on level from enemies within 12 feet. Ring of the Squire. Light armor. That could be nice. However, that's not... Okay, Lunar Steel Mace. It's not really very valuable. But I've never heard of them before and thus want them. Yes, I do. Nothing else. Heavy Armor Forging. Uh, interesting, I suppose. Armorer's Iron Ingot. <sighs> well, you know what this means, don't you? It means... Oh. Nope, it means the thing we need is inside. So, Hold on. I am on my way. good, 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 good. Oh. There's, that's where it says camp. All right, I'm hungry and thirsty. What is in there? Probably a way out. Okay. So, yeah, I was I was hoping it was going to be a camp because that's what it was called and we'd sort of pop over and there might be one or two people and we'd just wait for dark and then go and steal whatever it is or it'd be abandoned and we'd just take it. I should have known I was not going to be that lucky. 